Beverly School sits on an expanse, 40 acre piece of land. Uh, the buildings occupy less than nine acres of, of the land. And then we have unutilized land uh, for future expansion, but we also have 15 acres of land that we utilize for, for farming and agriculture. Beverly School is a mixed co-ed school. Boys and girls, right from early years all the way to uh, year 13. Therefore, it means we accept in early years, three-year-olds, four or five-year-olds, and then there is a middle school uh, where we have grade four, five, and six, the new system called the CBC. And then we also have our grade class seven and class eight, who are the, the class sevens, the tail ends of uh, the 844 system, unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, whichever way you want to look at uh, that particular aspect. Uh, and then we have our senior students. We have Form 1 all the way from 4, and then we have uh, IG, and the current IG class runs from year 8 all the way to year 13. I'm proud of being a teacher, yes, and especially a teacher to the young ones because these kids are so amazing. They are so amazing to work with. Number one, they are also innocent. They are pure in heart. So you get that when you're working with them, it also reminds you of who you are when you're also growing up. So it also gives you the motivation that you also want to see this child becoming somebody. I am a beneficiary of the public school system. So I am giving back to my country because I want my country to be a great place. And if I have a skill, then I need to share this skill and pursue what I like. And what I like and what I love is education and is teaching children. I'm proud to say that within a very short time of Beverly School, we became number one in Kiswahili, the whole country. Last year, we were top in English. Beverly School is, is now becoming known as a powerhouse academically. Beverly School, for us, for me, is home away from home. For our children, we are a small community, but the children that come to Beverly School, the children who are here, always feel comfortable and they feel at home, because we believe the children spend so much time with the teacher in school. And because they spend so much time in my hands more than they do at home, I also need to be the parent that every so often they miss. So they require love. They require to feel safe. And I think we try to provide love so that the child feels affirmed. Because when you affirm a child, that child also rewards you by being diligent and obedient and is actually a good learner. Uh, we personalize that learning. And when you personalize it, a child also feels safe that, you know what, I'm not going to be embarrassed if I don't know this. The teacher will figure out that there is another way for me to learn and understand and that's important and that's critical. So it is more child-centered than it is teacher-driven, teacher-centered. The structure of this school is unbelievable to some other schools around. You can see that the buildings in this place, they're more modern than some other schools in the area. The learning, uh, the learning is also good we have strict timetables. So we started off with the 844 because it was a lot easier for us. And then we brought in the IG. But the encasing is STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, I study the IGCSE system. I'm in year 10. And in the next five years, I'll be studying abroad. I like to be an engineer. Aeronautical engineer. We teach children to become what they want to become, but we also make sure that 
the scientific way of thinking or the inquiry way of thinking in terms of the mindset, we also make sure that every child in this school has access to. At Beverly School, one, we are a school of the future. Two, we are a school of nations because we have kids from all over the place. They are able to interact. Number three, we have embraced STEM and STEM is the future, is the way to go. We are the only school that has, is, is called STEM Power Center. As we pursue degrees, as we pursue uh, papers as a nation, let us face reality and start inculcating thinking in our children. And Beverly School, we teach you how to think. I came because of soccer, because I heard that this school is supporting football. I can say that this school has helped me improve my education and my, my talents. I've enjoyed myself since I joined this school. When I first joined this school, I, I was poor in football totally, but along the way I really changed and I'm, I'm now I can say I'm confident to play football. My experience with the teachers is that I've noticed that they're committed to their job. They just want us to pass. That's their happiness. Something special about the school is that we are all well-mannered and uh, table manners is key and everything else, yeah. It has conducive environment for learning. Most of all the grasses, you can sit down and read a book. And the weather of this place, I think it's best for me for learning because it is like give you the energy to, 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 to read. Secondly, the, we have modern labs that are very, very good and they have like everything that you can read and understand. We have all the apparatus that is needed for sciences and modern technology. Have, like, we have the library and the school, the classrooms are spacious. So it's just a good environment. We have all types of books. We have literature, yeah, and everything. Yeah, my favorite subject is physics and chemistry and also biology because I would like to be a pediatrician when I grow up, yeah, to help the children, yeah, and that. To me, what I tell people is education is power. I agree with Vince Lombardi when he says that for you to be number one, you must make sacrifice. And sacrifice comes with a cost. And that cost can be painful. But the reward at the end is wonderful, it's beautiful.